Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Scotty and welcome back to the episode of Unbox What You Got. And what I got for you guys today is the Dark Sylveon Celebrations 10. But before we get started, if you enjoy content like this, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you were able to find these in your local stores. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It helps this channel grow. With that said, let's get straight into it. I'm not trying to make this a long video, um, but I will have some backstory um, here. Uh, I just barely picked this up um, after I got off of work at my uh, local Walmart. And um, I ended up buying two. One of them did look suspiciously um, resealed. Uh, this, I, I, I did open it. Uh, and again, backstory for that, but here's the tin itself. And, and it looked resealed, to be honest. Um, I just put it back in, um, this sleeve so they could hold everything together because the, the tin itself wasn't closing. Uh, I did buy a second one. I bought two. I wanted one to open and one to see, get, keep sealed. And uh, this was one I was going to open because it, it looked weird. And this was my um, sealed one. So I got these at Walmart. Again, I don't know if I mentioned that already, but I did get it at Walmart and they were going for a $17.97. So great deal already. I thought these were going for around, you know, $20. But, um, you know, here's uh, proof. 17 um 97 there so there's my proof uh some probably will be at 1989 and mine my walmart in particular had um uh, it for 17.97 so a little bit of a sale um but back to this uh, uh let me open it up anyways and we can go from there again it looked super weird um uh, everything was looking like it was open already uh but Besides that, let's admire this tin. I really think this is one of like the coolest tins uh, for celebrations. Look at this, this is all like raised and you can, you know, really feel and, and celebrate, right? Uh, they didn't have any Charizard ones, unfortunately, but here's the back. Uh, you can get uh, one of the promo cards, which we got Sylveon, I mean, Dark Sylveon, uh, four TCG celebration packs, and then two additional TCG booster packs. And then of course a code card. So I'll let you guys have that once we pop this open. If nothing else, this is a great, um, you know, display piece somewhere or a collector tin somewhere. But let's take a look at Dark Sylveon. Awesome. Already have these for sure. There is your code card. Um, with these tins, they'll always be weary of the condition of cards because it's like in this plastic and corners most likely will bend through moving around. But this is looking pretty good centering wise. Can't complain. Edge is looking good as well. So we'll put that off to the side. Uh, and again, back to the story. So I got done purchasing these two tins. Um, and then somebody immediately uh, after I got done was like, hey, can you come over here? Um, uh, come over here with me real quick. And I was like, um, okay. Uh, I probably should have been more like, no, but I went anyways. And he was like, hey, can you help me out? I just bought, you know, five of these. Here's our four packs, by the way. I bought five of these uh, tins and I opened up a couple of them and I'm missing uh, booster packs. So he was missing the extra booster packs. And um, I think he was missing one of his celebration packs. Uh, and so he was trying to go to the manager and like let him know like, hey, something's going on with here. Uh, and so it made me kind of suspicious of what was going on uh, because my, my tin looked like it was gonna be uh, tampered with. And so, um, you know, I agreed to like, hey, you know, I'll, uh, well, anyways, he was just, the manager was like, if you can prove, if he opens his and he can prove, go ahead and take a look at that. That's pretty cool. Some history there. And here's the Charizard history. Um, anyways, he, uh, if I opened mine and mine was missing, he was going to refund the, the guy his money for it, uh, his 10. So I was like, yeah, sure. Why not? I, I'm, I'll, I'll help. And the guy was being, uh, mean to the customer, by the way. Um, I don't know why, but um, he was. Uh, and so I opened up mine and mine looked A-OK. -okay. I had my two packs, as you can see here, and then my four packs. But um, the other thing that looked suspicious was um, this part here. It looked like it was resealed. A little extra amount of glue here. So we will find out if my tin in particular was uh, resealed. Look at all the excess glue at the bottom. That's crazy. Um, we'll examine it some more here. But everything looks good. His honestly looked like mine, like all his that um, were p uh, missing packs, like his packs look like mine. I, it, it even looked like some of it was open, but it wasn't. So pretty crazy. We'll see if, if it was. Um, just out of transparency, last time I had packs like this was from the opening uh, I did with my friend Noel and we were able to pull Charizard. So no complaints there. 
Um, I'll start opening up and I'll continue to explain the story. Um, so I opened it up and the manager was like, well, his looks good. So unfortunately I'm not gonna give you, you know, a refund. You could take it up with, uh, you know, Pokemon company or the distributors. Um, but the guy was just all sorts of mad and, you know, he, he, he had valid points. Like I was concerned too, but I didn't, you know, that's why I only bought two and not, you know, five like him. Um, so very unfortunate, but you know, I get it. I work retail. Um, so it, it, a lot of things could happen, which I'm thinking probably happened, at least to mine, was that it probably broke open and the seal was tampered with. And so they had to reseal it and, um, you know, to put everything back together the best way they could. Um, with his, most likely the same thing. And then what probably happened was um, they didn't put those packs back into the, the tin, unfortunately, which sucks, but you know, it, stuff like that happens. And unfortunately, it, his had to be the one. So always, uh, you know, be cautious of that. If it looks like it's resealed, maybe don't purchase it. Uh, you, you run that risk. And honestly, I don't know who you go through uh, for that because the manager at Walmart was not gonna give that guy a refund after seeing my tin being A-OK. -okay. So uh, I ended up talking to the guy some more and I was trying to reassure him, hey, you know, maybe your packs are good. Unfortunately, you were missing, you know, your packs, um, but open them up and then hopefully you get some good pulls out of the celebration packs that he does have. Um, but his concern was if he does reach out to somebody that might want to see the, the packs and make sure they weren't resealed. So I was like, yeah, go ahead, reach out. And then uh, if they say they can't do anything, you might as well open it up because there's you know, obviously you're not getting your money back. So there's a little horror story. We will see, you know, what happens with these packs and nothing from those, but let's take a look. Are these celebrations uh tens resealed i guess that might be the thumbnail of this um uh of this opening here and i'm only gonna open up one because again i wanted the other ones to keep uh uh sealed so we'll see what we get out of here and so far it looks sealed i'll examine that a little further after this let's see what we get out of this pack so we got cosmog uh yavetel Hey, Mega Work Quaza, I needed this for my um, my master set. This is awesome. Yes, I finally have them. I was gonna go out and buy singles, but I shall take this, finally. Finally, this, this is why I got Shining Pearl. I wanted to get a Rayquaza. Man, look at that. This is awesome. But I mean, he's not expensive. I think he's floating around $15, probably less on TCG Player, but man, is this card hard to pull. And then uh, Bear for Trouble, make a double. We got another hit, uh, Zamazin to V. Uh, but this is um, you know, a common hit. There's the code card. Um, put our hits here. We'll see about that in a little bit. So, so far, so good. Let's uh, open up the last three packs here and I'll give my two cents on uh, what I think. So let's see what we got here. So we got Kyogre, uh, Dialga, a Cosmog, and then a Lunala, so nothing there. There's your code card. Oh, that one most definitely looks. Oh, that looked weird. Hmm, we'll see. Felt weird opening, it was just too easy. So there's Palkia, Zekrom, Groudon. Hey, a flying Pikachu, so we got a hit, nice. There's your code card, and then last pack. Let's examine this a little further here. Yeah, this this looks all sorts of weird. You can see it right there, just like that first pack I opened. Hopefully that doesn't mean anything. We shall see though. Maybe that's why they were uh, on sale. They knew these packs weren't like passing the, the vibe check, I guess you can call it. Uh, but let's see if we get anything out of here. So we got Xerneas. Kyogre, nothing unfortunate, no classic collection, Cosmoan, and Izama's into V. So we did get a hit, just not one that we would like. Okay, so aside from being quote unquote resealed, like, you uh, should most definitely pick up these Celebrations tins. They look super awesome. Again, I, I think the, the thing that did it for me was this like uh, raised um, Celebrations logo. Um, just very, very um, simplistic, but it, it, it does that nice touch. 
and for $17.97 you can't beat that for uh, celebration packs and two extra packs like that's a that's a really good deal so if you see them at your walmart's i believe that it's only been popping up at walmart's um so go check it out uh it might be their exclusive i'm 100 sure get it there um and you know in terms of is it resealed i don't know i'll leave it up to you guys let me know in the comments if you think this uh, particular tin was resealed honestly i i do think it was it just uh had to be because maybe something through you know constant like shipping um broke somewhere and they just had to reseal it real quick to put everything back together because again you saw that wrapping it, it, and, and the tin was open up like this so they had to do something because we got some we got some good pulls luckily we got the best pull out of this tin of that mega rayquaza ex i needed this to help uh, complete my master set so one out of five down here i still need um uh gold star umbreon um what was it uh gardevoir a uh, ex mew ex and um what's the other pokemon um yeah, i'm brain farting uh the other pokemon i needed was oh a uh, garchomp ex and so once i get those uh, i would officially be complete with uh, celebrations but yeah again guys let me know if you think this was resealed always be cautious though when you go buy a product even if it's off the shelves uh and it looks a little funny maybe stay away from that uh lean in towards something more like this um, that looks sealed again i'm gonna keep this sealed i might go back tomorrow for more just because i'm really in love with this um 10 it looks awesome and um it's a good price can't beat it for 17.97 but yeah that is the video guys thank you guys for watching if you enjoy content like this, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you thought this was a resealed tin. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Help this channel grow. With that said, Scotty out.